And all right, we're gonna go to the wagon trail. Let's go. If you take a group of middle school kids for a walk in the woods, let's all try to stick together today. You're probably not going to experience much peace and quiet. But that's okay, because seasonal ranger Paul Moody is here to train the next generation of rangers. All right, hey, everybody come here. Let's, let's try to identify one of these trees. Tree. That's, tree. that's a tree, that's a good job. That's what... Let's, uh, where's that book? Let's see if we got hickories on here. Yeah, see the leaves that's coming off of it? That is a shag bark hickory. It's our goal that they have fun, and we want them to learn a little bit. So what kind of tree do you guys think this is? Can you? It is an oak. Learning to identify trees is just one of many things these kids will get to do at this junior ranger camp at Panther Creek State Park. Some of these kids uh, haven't interacted a lot uh, with nature, haven't been outdoors, and they're plugged into video games and things like that. Today, they're plugging in to the great outdoors. <laughs> I just like um, hearing the birds chirp, and I like the trees. I just love the smell of the outdoors and everything. I like nature because it's healthy, it's in the environment and it's pretty. It's better than being inside because if you do the, if you're inside, you just do other stuff. And if you're outside, you have lots of fun. From tall trees to tiny millipedes, every experience out here is an opportunity to learn. It's more fun than school and you, well, you learn the same stuff, but you get to learn more about it. We looked at the trees, specified what kind they were, looked at different plants, and we had lots of fun because it started to rain. Now, usually rain and camp don't mix very well, but if you're going to get wet anyway, sometimes the best thing to do is to jump right in. We're going to kind of talk to them a little bit about the importance of maintaining healthy watersheds, talk to them a little bit about uh, the different types of pollutants, uh, how pollutants get into the streams, and then actually look for uh, the benthic macroinvertebrates. Hey, hey, look, look at this. The kids identify the creek critters they find to see how well they tolerate pollution, which gives them a good idea of how healthy the stream is. I found a crayfish, a salamander, and I found a little darter fish. I found a bunch of skeleton fish, a few rainbow fish. I don't know, I don't know what the real name for it, but it's like a strider, I think? A water strider? We found a lot of healthy insects and stuff that can only live in healthy waters. Splashing in the creek is lots of fun but it's also an opportunity to soak up science. The creek is a very good source of learning. It's cool because you get to do hands-on and not have to look at a piece of paper and learn information about it. It's not every day you get to see an owl up close. The barred owl is the second largest owl that we have in Tennessee. They're also called the crazy owl by the Indians because they make all kinds of noises, not just the hoot hoot that little dude did, but they'll scream and they'll squawk and they'll make all kinds of clacky, weird noises. They're very sociable owls and they love to come around campgrounds. And Wildlife rehabilitator Lynn McCoy cares for a wide variety of permanently injured animals. While they are no longer able to live wild and free, they can help the kids better understand and care for their wild brethren and all of a sudden she sees a fox coming. And she knows foxes, they just very well might eat a possum. Well, instead of saying, there's a fox coming, I'm gonna play dead. It's like, it's a fox, it's gonna eat me. Ah! Blood drains from her brain and she faints, passes out cold. Blah! Seeing the wildlife as actual living creatures and getting to meet one-on-one, -on -one, suddenly that opossum becomes a connection to them. Hi. I thought the groundhog would kind of bait hard, but it really wasn't. It was soft like a cat's fur. The groundhog, the hawks and all, they can look at them and say, oh yeah, I saw that one close up, or I know about that. And it, it makes a difference, it sticks with them. Um, you actually get to feel what they're like, touch what they're like, see what they're like, and it's better than just looking in a book or something. Whether it's making a connection with a critter or learning why healthy streams are so important, 
or just going for a walk in the woods. It's all better because getting out here makes it real and meaningful for a new generation of rangers. I'm Ken Tucker on the Wild Side. <laughs>